Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So, I gotta talk fast before this thing falls. This is a new bracket, and um, it's just a little bit more um, shaking. So, hopefully, it don't fall. But I just wanted to come to y'all because I've recorded at least four videos since probably the last one you saw, and I deleted them all. Why, you might ask? Because after getting the video done, I looked at them and I could see the, the, um, the troubles of the world in my face, just being 100. Like I could see that I was going through something, you know, and it's like that even when you're, when you're talking to somebody, you literally watching yourself respond to that person. Like say somebody asks you, Oh, you how's, how's everybody? And you and you and you're watching yourself, or you hear yourself answering that question, and you and yourself is sitting there waiting to like, are you gonna tell them the truth, or are you gonna tell them a lie? And I've been having that happen to me more and more, where my inner man, my soul, just wants to be honest. <laughs> it's like so I ask you, how you doing? And you just want to be like. Not doing that great, you know, but nobody does that, you know, nobody that I know does that, you know, somebody asks you, oh, everybody's great, everybody's fine, and sometimes it's very hard to answer that question honestly, you know, sometimes is is, I mean, it's, yeah, no, sometimes it's very hard to answer that question dishonestly, because it's easy to say, oh, everybody's great, but I've been having the last two weeks, I've been finding it very difficult to just say, everything's okay so I, I chose not to say nothing because you ain't gonna you know get me on a regular lie you know I'm just gonna not say anything so how many of you all struggle with that you know um I know for some people it's very easy to lie <laughs> it's just second nature you know but for me it's not I've always been um blessed with the ability to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth you know um it's been working out so far but um i, um, I want to say that um kids raising kids you try to raise them to be honest and you do your best to to, to raise them to be truthful and trustworthy but then there's that one day when you find out that god damn it they good liars and you get scared and uh and i must say yesterday was that day for me you know the little boy as i'll refer to him um had the opportunity to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth he didn't choose to do he didn't do that he didn't do that at all he actually did the complete opposite he told the lie a whole lie and nothing but lies and I got scared <laughs> I got scared but being the great detective that I am you don't let him or anybody know that you're scared or intimidated I'm intimidated by somebody who will stack lies so eloquently you know, you got me on one line, and then after that, I'm cracking, and I'm like, I, I it's just, hey, it just is what it is. I can't, I can't keep st stacking lies like that. I am not the craftsman of lies, but those are there are people out here who will have you up a tree without a plan because of some shit they didn't told you, and you believe them. They're just that good at convincing you of bullshit you know and he's crafting that spirit within himself and to me that was scary thought as in i'm gonna cower away in a corner it's just that i know for damn well i didn't instill that in him but that's a quality that i'm seeing and as a parent as a guardian as a caretaker of a child it's our job if you see 
those things that you know won't benefit them as adults to nip in the bud by any means necessary. If that means your own help, professional help, a punch to the throat, I'm only kidding. But whatever works, um, because I was just, I was just completely like, you know, like I couldn't believe the level of lying that was going on. It was something where, you know, you see a kid with something, right? And you ask them where they got it from. And it ain't just the typical, oh, I found it. Cause then that just opens them up to being like, you know, you know this shit not mines, but I'm not gonna tell you where I got it from. Just know it's not mines. But that's not the kid like I got. I got you, you, I got that from there and, and that and they bought it. They always like it was it was crafted with so much believability, you'd be like, oh, why did I even bother you with my accusations? I'm sorry, sir. I will buy you like you you would almost be offended for disrupting this person's playtime. Because how dare you? How dare you? But then I thought to myself, no self. Your gut has never been wrong and it's not wrong now. I honestly spent two and a half hours doing my best detective work. I had witnesses and ex and, and evidence. And I'm not joking. So I was given a story that I didn't believe. I pulled in the little girl and she provided some evidence which opened up the box. And without even blinking twice, the little boy says, that's not true. She's making all of that up. The little girl, dumbfounded, says, not, like, not younger than the, the little boy, not even able to comprehend being thrown under the bus, long thrown under the bus, knowing, you know, you just told the truth. But somebody just says, no, that's just not true. And then me, being, that's the boy, that's the girl, the boy's older, the girl's younger, I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't let this go because if we show her that her true story won't be believed, then she'll grow up thinking, why tell them anyway? They're not gonna believe me. It's, it's not gonna mean anything. I told them the truth and they didn't believe me anyway. So say she gets abused, God knock on wood that that never happens. She would never tell us because it would be like, they're not gonna believe me anyway. Why am I even saying anything? And I can't be at the beginning of that and I'm setting the groundwork to that being the, the, the way it goes down. So it went from me figuring out the boy's lie to protecting the little girl and her confidence in the system, me being a part of the system. <laughs> and I expressed that. And it was still, no, she's lying. I'm like, oh, God damn it. You're trying to be good, good with this. You're trying to be, you trying to be a real liar. You're trying to be a real criminal. Yeah, I even try to, if you lie, you steal, you steal, you kill thing. Hopefully, you know, that scares a kid into saying, I'm not a killer. I, I ain't kill nobody. You know, no, it didn't work. <laughs> it was still, no. Basically, that chick lying, I ain't do what I said I, I, I didn't do. And you need to get up out my face <laughs> is how the attitude came towards me. Like, and I'm thinking, am I really badgering somebody who is not guilty? I started to second guess myself in my mind. You never let a person know what you're thinking. So I went as far as to, to pull out some good evidence, you know, and I think they almost was like, damn, you know, I'm about to get caught. So, but they stuck to no. I didn't do that, you know, but I, something in my spirit said, nah, that's not true. You know, that's not true. And, um, I went on to 
psychological like the only person who can get you to do right is you so I'm fast forwarding I'm editing a lot of this so I took the little boy in the bathroom and I had him stand in the mirror and I said you tell yourself that you didn't do it and immediately I see the eyes go from looking at himself to looking at the wall, looking at the floor, looking at me. A clear sign that a person is being dishonest, you know. Then I say, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? They say, a police officer. I say, well, how are you going to make that happen? And they're looking at the sink and looking at the wall. And they say, uh, you know, just a generic answer. I want to help, help people. Like, what does that mean? You know, I say, explain to yourself what that means, you know, and then they couldn't. So then I said, well, I gave him, them, him a personal story. Or if you have something that you want to be, how you would make that happen. I said, you want to be a cop, right? I say, take a cop, right? And he's about to get an award at, 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 at the precinct. They usually bring up his life, you know, Johnny has displayed a life of service his whole life. He's helped his grandmother. He's bagged groceries at the grocery store. And he always had a willingness to help. He displayed helping energy his whole entire life. That's why Johnny here is now presented with the award for being very helpful. It just don't happen. You have to be helpful if that's what you say you want to do. And I think he got it. I can't bullshit my Self, I, I can't bullshit others because I'm only going to hurt myself, you know. And I, I got, I got really try to get, try to, you, you know, you, you take all of the accusations off the table and you try to tap into that person's um, um, soul with a with a story, um, um, just looking at a person in their eyes and. If after all of that, you realize that it didn't work, now you're dealing with a sociopath. This is me being real now. And then it goes to the level of, I can't help you unless you're a professional. Even if you are, you still would need outside help to get that person hopefully through that. But... I knew after that conversation, I wasn't dealing with a sociopath. At least, I hope I'm not. I'm dealing with a person who, I don't know. I still don't know, but why, why would you be so persistent in the lie? Because I even asked after that. So you're telling me that your sister is telling me a lie? Yes. I said no. I was, de I was devastated. But then I heard, I left. I said, okay, cool, all right, cool. I, I, I reassured them that I would get to the bottom of it by any means necessary. That means researching, looking at some cameras or whatever I needed to do to get to the bottom of what was, what was done, you know. And I heard them confessing their truth to the other adult in the home. And I wanted to jump up and, and I was in another room. And I think what I said was pl had planted the seed of, of doubt in them that shit's about to hit the fan. So they figured, let me confess now to the nice cop because the, because the bad cop going to get me, me being the bad cop, you know, and I was grateful that I was right. <laughs> Because otherwise, I would have felt really horrible for, as I said, badgering somebody or being persistent in trying to find out what I thought to be true. It turns out I was right. But then I felt bad. I felt horrible as, a, you know, a person who's supposed to, I don't know, be in this kid's life, you know, as an example. Um, But then... I felt like 
No, I let them know that the truth shall set you free. It's not ever too late to just be honest with yourself first because a lie needs another lie which needs another lie which eventually will have you having to hurt somebody to keep maintaining the lie and I think I planted several seeds that immediately sprouted I must say because he um, like I said confessed to what I knew to be true and I felt bad for his sister because I knew that she was in another room feeling like, okay, half of the group supports me, but my brother, the only, the first very, very relationship that a little girl ever has, if she has a brother, is either with her father, a male guardian, or her brother. And it's up to those people, if they're older or younger, to respect her, to honor her, to cherish her so that she understands when she's in a relationship what she should and should not accept. And I explained that to him. And I said to him, I said, you did her wrong this time. And I said, you need to right your wrong. So I called her down and I had him say to her, you were right, I was wrong. And, and I said, you need to apologize. And he began by saying, I'm sorry, hitting behind a wall halfway. I said, no, you were so bold and confident when you were lying. Be bold and confident when you admitting that you were wrong. So I had him come from behind the wall and say, and he said, I'm sorry. And I turned to her and I said, never let a person tell you they're sorry. And he looked at me like, what? I said, yes. I said, you tell him, save your sorry and tell me, and, and try and try not to ever do it again. Try not to ever do it again. So she said, no, I'm saying, sorry, and, and try not to ever do it again. I said, no, no, say it like you mean it. So that person knows you mean that. That's your standard, and as you're not gonna go around that. She said, say, I save you sorry. <laughs> try not to ever do it again. And he said, okay. And I said to her, well, now do what you do best. She knew exactly what I meant. She ran over and she gave him a hug. And I was just like, this isn't over, but this is as best as a, a best of an outcome that I could have asked for. And this doesn't happen when kids are adults or grown folks now. It happens when they're in their youth. You you got to break that hold on them which says that lying is okay. Dishonesty is the way. You know, be relentless in your pursuit of a, of a good human being. Don't cave, don't crack. Because they know they lying. But you got to be... You gotta be one second, one ounce stronger and more resilient than the person who isn't doing the truth, doing what was right. If you were a detective, that if you held out for one minute longer, you was about to get what you needed to get. The key is knowing when, when those moments to back off and, and let things grow. You know, you plant a seed in the ground. And at some point, you kind of just have to wait, watch, and and let it do what it's going to do. And um, I'm glad I was able to do that in that moment. And it, like I said, it happened very quickly. It didn't take days. But it, it, it was an opportunity for all of what I had put in. It it, it, it it made the situation work out, you know. And we went on to have a, a, a very normal night like we typically have. Getting through that negativity and um, I was thankful and it was good and the lesson was learned I think everybody is a little older because of it I know I am because I used it my whole night but um, I would have it no other way you know and um, I think his sister now knows that we are her protectors we're going to believe her and 
she's confident in the pursuit of the truth at this point. And she like, look, why she feels, you know, powerful because she knew her story meant something. And it got to the bottom of the truth. So that gives her this ounce of power. She's walking out here today like, I did that, you know. And he is walking out of here today like, I got to do better, you know. And I've let them down and I want to make them more prouder of me, you know. And the rest is to be determined, you know. We, we, we're... We're building foundations here as as parents and, and guardians and people who care for children. You know, it's a job. Whether we chose the job or given the job, whatever, it's the job. And uh, yesterday was very grateful that it worked out. And pray for me. <laughs> pray that I continue to have the strength to be the bad cop because that's a hard role to play because it's a it's a line you wanna you wanna you wanna play. You know you want to get to the bottom of things but you don't want um the kid to not see you as, you know not their friend but somebody who we can even we can have a good time with, you know. You don't wanna be avoided. You know, if they see you as an authority figure, like, you know, oh my God, here you go. You always, you know, you don't want that because then they, you know, it kind of avoid you. So I don't want to be avoided. I just want to be respected. And I want them to respect themselves more than um, respecting me. So it's just a balance, you know, and it's not, it's, it's just, it's not easy. So as I said, pray, pray for me. And I'll be praying for y'all. Have a wonderful morning. Peace and blessings. And talk to y'all later. Bye.